Hey there, Internet. Sal Good Sam here with another video for my introduction to cartooning class at Sin Studio. Check out sinstudio.ca to sign up for the next semester of that if you're interested. One of the things I assign in the class is to do studies of several iconic, memorable cartoon characters. And the way we do this is sort of reverse engineering the character. Most cartoon characters, especially uh, some of the, the most iconic ones, are built on, under, underneath it all, a constructive system of building up the forms. So one of the things I assign is for you to take your favorite cartoon characters, got a couple drawings of them, and try to deconstruct those forms. Uh, at least once, like I'm doing in this video, I just recommend just getting some thin paper and tracing directly over a large copy of one of the characters, uh, just to work out the forms, the proportions, very precisely. You're looking for the structures that the artist used and just kind of de trying to decode their system a little bit. If they've ever posted a how-to, then look at that, see how they built their characters. You may draw a character with a very gestural freehand style the rest of the time, but when you initially design it, it's almost always got a constructive underlaying codec. So once you've done that once, take the reference material, put it off to the side, within sight, but not away yet, and repeat the process, this time trying to follow the patterns you found in terms of building up structures, the round shapes for the head here, the kind of uh, egg shape for the torso, uh, the, the seat, the sort of a muffin shape, the, the simple kind of tube-like arms and legs, and the, the shape of the dress, the book. Whatever it is relevant to the cartoon you're doing, uh, you're going to repeat those forms. You're going to pay attention, special attention to portions and scale. And then I recommend at first just finishing with a soft pencil. This is a, a tube to be lead. And you're emulating what you would do in inking, but don't worry about inking just yet necessarily. Because some pencil lets you think it out, you can erase if you make a mistake. It's a, a good way to sort of proto figure out the inking style. Bush Miller, Ernie Bush Miller, who, who di designed Nancy, worked with a, a very constant line. It's thought that he probably used uh, something like a B nib, which is a, a type of nib for lettering. It gives you a line that's the same width in all directions. And to emulate that effect, eventually when you do ink this, you should either use, use a B nib or use something like it. In a later version, I'm just going to use felt tip pens that give me a very consistent line. So, you know, it's two so far. You want to do this several times. Uh, not necessarily one sitting, though. I recommend, as I did here, sleeping on it for a day and then returning to the character and do it again. Follow the same constructive system to build up, uh, like I'm building up Nancy's head here. I decided not to draw the entire uh, picture of Nancy again, but I did redraw the face one more time and in the pencil stage. And then I decided to pick up a, a different panel with the same character and another character, but this, and, and Nancy is not in the same position. So once I finish this, you'll see I start drawing from uh, a picture of my phone again. It's a panel uh, from a Nancy comic of Sluggo and Nancy standing in some snow. And it was a profile, so I could sort of try to figure out how the system that I had figured out for her structure of her head worked in profile. You're looking to learn from this process, understand the cartoonist's work and why they did things. So, within reason, you want to get as close as you can. But we're not necessarily trying to create forgeries that'll fool anybody here, so if you don't achieve perfection, that's okay. Mostly just try to get as close to honoring the spirit of what they did. If you can manage a high level of precision, then excellent. Um, but this isn't something to worry about. So here I'm using a, a favorite kind of cheap felt tip pen. I don't remember the brand right now, but it's a... Uh, Pretty affordable and the ink's semi-stable. Definitely not as good as the permanent pigment pens I use, but it's got a nice wide tip and it's sort of well suited to the scale of the drawing that I did here to match the, the kind of lines you see in Nancy. Notice I use a very constant line. The video is sped up here several thousand times, but it um, you can see that I don't do a lot of sketching. Um, unless the line is sketching the finished work, you don't use sketching. I filled in the blacks with my Pentel pocket brush and add a few more snow, and I start another head. And you'd want to just keep doing this, and that's basically the best way to master cartooning. If you're interested in joining our course, uh, look up sinstudio.ca and the Introduction to Cartooning with Sal Good Sam.